Okay, so previously we did an exercise to show that graphically when the eccentricity is equal to 1, the conic section that is formed is a parabola. We can also develop an equation for the parabola in the Cartesian plane. And to do that, let's start with the simplest of parabolas that has its vertex at the origin. So at 0, 0. And the parabola opens up in the positive x direction. Okay, so let's pretend that's symmetrical. Now let's say that I have a focus that's located at the point A0. So I should note that the vertex is at 0, 0. And because the x-axis is the axis of symmetry, the focus must lie to the right of the vertex by distance A. So I'll label this as F for focus at A, 0 and this as v at 0, 0, v for vertex. So if the point at the vertex has a distance of a to the focus, it must also have a distance of a to the directrix as well. And we can see that the directrix is going to be directly to the left of the vertex. I will label this as d for directrix. And it has the equation x equals minus a. So the distance here is also A. Now the point P can only travel along the parabola. It can only travel along the locus. So if I choose an arbitrary point here, the point P, we know by definition that the distance between point P and the focus, so the distance PF, is equal to the perpendicular distance to the directrix. P, D. Okay, so in this diagram one looks longer than the other, but this isn't to scale, so in reality they should be equal to each other. So we have the relationship that P, F is equal to P, D by virtue of the fact that P, F on P, D is equal to the eccentricity, which equals 1, so the moving point P has variable coordinates x, y. So the distance P, F is given by the distance formula, which is x minus a squared plus y minus 0 squared. And we take the square root of all of that. So simply the difference between the x-coordinate of P and the focus and the y-coordinate of P and the y-coordinate of the focus. The distance PD we can denote as the magnitude or the absolute value of x minus negative a. Now negative a is the x-coordinate of the directrix. So this works out to be the absolute value of x plus a so equating these two together, we have the square root of x minus a squared plus y minus 0 is just equal to y, so we have y squared is equal to x plus a, so the magnitude of x plus a. And if we square both sides, we get x minus a all squared plus y squared is equal to x plus a all squared. So I can get rid of the absolute value bars because anything that is squared becomes a positive and an absolute value will always be a positive value. So therefore the absolute value of x plus a squared is simply equal to x plus a squared. So what I'll do now is I'll expand these binomially so x minus a expands to x squared minus 2xa plus a squared. And then we have plus y squared. x plus a squared expands to x squared plus 2xa plus a squared. 
Okay, so we have x squareds on both sides of the equation and they cancel. We have a squareds on both sides and they can cancel. We have a negative xa and a positive xa. So if I take this one to the other side, the equation becomes y squared is equal to 2 ax, so I'll just reverse the x and the a, and then plus 2ax, and we have y squared is equal to 4ax. And this is the equation that you'll probably have seen in classrooms. And this is the most general form of the parabola. So all parabolas can be expressed in terms of y squared equals 4ax. So in this particular case, the vertex is located at 0, 0. The focus is located at a, 0. So a denotes the location of the focus. And the directrix has the equation x equals negative a. So recapping, for a parabola with this vertex located at 0, 0, it has the most general form of y squared equals 4ax. Focus is located at a comma 0 and the directrix has the equation x equals minus a. Alright, that shall do it for this video. If you have found this useful, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel for more videos that will help you on your homework and on your assignments. Best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.